nitanjilisha vizuri i will dress well alafu nitavaa nadhifu vizuri praise the name of jesus yesu asifiwe hallelujah hallelujah jesus gave my command yesu akawapa amri when it comes to clothing and food wakati nafikia mambo ya kuvaa na chakula don't worry wala msifadhaike that word don't hiyo neno msi is a command ni amri amri so obey that command and don't worry wewe ti amri hiyo na usifadhaike for your father knows na ni kwa sababu baba yako anajua that you need those things kwamba wewe unahitaji hivyo vitu so the command is don't kwa hivyo hamri ni wala usi when you begin to worry wakati baba umeanza kufadhaika some of you young people will look all at twice <laughs> wengine wetu vijana tutakaa tu tumezeeka mara mbili imagine your age is very small ebu fikiria umri wako ni mdogo zaidi and you look like a future man alafu <laughs> unakaa vile vile ambavyo utakaa who is he, who is here by accident alafu chakula iko hapa tu kwa makosa fulani no excuse me hapana samahani hello hello you young people vijana be very careful how you you live wewe kwa mwangalifu vile ambavyo unaishi don't dress odd usivae tu hivyo ajabu tu hakuna don't imitate every hairstyle that comes wacha kuenda ukiiga mtindo mtindo kila mtindo wa nywele ambao unaona i see men who look like old women mimi naona wanaume ambao wanakaa wanawake ambao wamezeeka and yet they, they are young men alafu kumbuka ni vijana tu wachanga but their heads look like old women lakini ukiangalia vichwa zao wanakaa tu wanawake ambao wamezeeka look at their hair angalia nywele zao what are they trying to do wanajaribu kufanya nini they are trying to capture your attention wanajaribu kukufanya wewe mfuasi wao this one is different from other men hili wanataka uone ah huyu huyu ni tofauti look at his hair hebu hebu angalie nywele zake listen sikia there's a man inside there who is fighting <laughs> ukiona mtu kama huyo kumbuka kuna mwanadamu ndani hapa ambaye anapigana mwanaume why are men turning around and making their hair like women kwa nini wanaume wanambandilika na kuanza kutengeneza nywele zao kama wanawake why are they not satisfied bona hawanjatosheka is because nobody is looking at them kwa sababu hakuna mtu ambaye anawaangalia wakati wanakaa wanaume wengine they want you to turn around and look wanataka wewe uangalie wanataka uangalie it is you they are looking for ni wewe ambaye wanatafuta uwe mfuasi wao they want you to look at their hair wanataka wakati mbapo unapita uangalie uangalie nywele zao vile zinakaa when i was having a revival in the city i was having a revival in the city kulikuwa na nilikuwa nafanya uvuvio katika mji huu and a young man who was a big singer alafu kulikuwa na kijana mdogo ambaye alikuwa mwimbaji hodari amluya boy ambaye alikuwa muluya he was on the radio he was on television alikuwa kila mahali kwa radio kwa televisheni they brought me a picture of him wakaniletea picha yake and they told me we want him to come and sing na wakaniambia huyu ni hodari sana tunataka aje aimbe where nikao wauliza wapi in in in, in your revival wakasema eh, mzee kwa mkutano wako i city hall pale ukumbi wa city hall i said no nikawaambia it doesn't hapana it doesn't qualify huyo wala hajaitimu mzee this 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 man he is all the luya land listens to him all, all the baluya listen to him he is a hero wakaniambia mzee unaona huyu kijana kila muluya anasikia huyu then they came again alipo kaja tena then they came again na wakaja tena i told them the fourth time bring him to me mara ina nikawaambia mleteni kwangu first of all he will sing for me <laughs> kama ni uimbaji mleteni kwangu kwanza aniimbie mimi mwenyewe alone 
without any instrument. Alafu hakuna kinanda ananiambia peke yangu mimi na yeye. Because I am the pastor of the people he wants to come to see for. Kwa sababu mimi ndiye mchungaji wa wale watu ambao anataka kuja kuwaimbia. I'm a father I care. Mimi ni baba, mimi na njali. Hallelujah. Alafu nikasema if you insist kama amesisitiza zaidi I will take him to my kinyozi <laughs> Kama ni lazima na amesisitiza <coughs> nampeleka kwa kinyozi wangu after you sang for me After you sang for me Alafu nampeleka kwa kinyozi baada ya kuniimbia kwanza If I agree I'll take him to kinyozi Kwa sababu akiniimbia alafu nikubali <coughs> nampeleka kwa kinyozi wangu and he will stand but I will buy him a good suit. Alafu ni mnunulie suit nzuri, suit nzuri to stand before God's people. Ili aweze kusimama mbele ya watu wa Mungu. They were so amazed. Alishangazwa zaidi. They were amazed. Walishangazwa <coughs> that I was that strong. Wakashangaa kwani mzee na yeye anakuwa namna gani? He singing in cathedrals. Huyu jamaa anaimba kila mahali kwa cathedrals kwa kama kanisa. Meetings. Anaimba kwa makanisa mengi. Crusades kwa mikutano ya hadhara people are clapping na watu wanampigia makofi yes i am not people lakini unajua mimi wala si watu <coughs> i am me mimi ni mimi tu i like to live the bible way mimi nataka kuishi jinsi mvilivyo ninavyosema did you get it umepata to am i speaking am i speaking greek here <laughs> wala mi, mimi naongea lugha ambayo haieleweki hapa if you are not satisfied with who you are kama haujatosheleka kwa wewe mwenyewe no jinsi ulivyo make you hakuna mwimbaji ambaye anaweza kukufanya bora zaidi it must come from inside you lazima itoke ndani self respect ile kujipa heshima wewe mwenyewe a sing a sing from outside unajua mwimbaji anaimba kutoka nje you are coming from inside yako inatoka ndani hallelujah praise the lord bwana asifiwe praise the lord hallelujah Why am I saying this? Because today there is so much fear. Kwa sababu leo kuna kuna hofu. And Yingi. preachers are beginning to make people believe a lie. Na wahubiri nao wameanza kuwafanya watu waamini wa uongo so that they can have you more and more. Ili uzidi kuja kwao. Here you don't come because you fear. Wewe hapa huji sababu unaogopa. You come because you want to worship God. Unakuja hapa sababu unataka kumwabudu Mungu. Don't come because you fear hell. Auji hapa kwa sababu unaongopa kuzimu? No. Hapana, because you are not going to hell. Sababu auogopi kuzimu sababu uende huko. How do you fear hell and you are not going there? Bona unaongopa kuzimu namna gani na uende huko? That's why I don't preach demons. Hivyo ndio maana mimi sihubiri mapepo hapa. Because Jesus is here. Kwa maana Yesu yupo hapa. And demons don't stay where na Jesus is. Mapepo aya ayakai mahali ambapo hapo. You heard that? Umesikia hilo? He, demons don't stay where Jesus is. Mapepo yakai mahali Yesu yupo. That you may know. Hili wewe upate kujua and understand. Na upate kufahamu how his mighty power worked. Jinsi nguvu hii kuu ilivyofanya kazi. When did he work the greatest work? Hii hii nguvu kuu ilifanya kazi kubwa lini? Oh it will tell you when he opened the blind eyes. Eh wakati ambapo alifungua macho ya vifofu when the cripple walked. Wakati ambapo vilema walipata kutembea. No no no. Hapana no. hapana hapana. That was not the greatest work. Hilo nalo alikuwa kazi kuu. The greatest work that God did. Kazi kuu ambayo Mungu alifanya is when he raised his own son from the grave. Ni wakati alipata kumfufua mwana wake kutoka kwa kaburi. That was when God demonstrated his mighty power. Hiyo ndiyo siku ambayo Mungu alionyesha nguvu yake, nguvu ambayo ni kuu. That is why I preach the risen Lord. Hiyo ndiyo maana mimi nahubiri yule Bwana ambaye amefufuka. Cripples walking and blind seeing is not a is not a big thing. Vile makutembea na nguvu kupata kuona, hiyo namo si jambo kubwa. No. Hapana. The Bible says. Biblia inasema that Jesus came kwamba Yesu alikuja to defeat the one who made people fear. Alikuja kumshinda yule ambaye alifanya watu kuogopa. How did he defeat him? Na yeye alimshinda kwa namna gani? He said devil. Alisema imbilisi. Here, here is my body. Mimi mwili wangu ndio huu. Lay your death here. 
so that I may save those who fear you. And he died. The Bible tells me his spirit went to visit the spirits who died before he came. There is a place where God kept those spirits of the prophets who prophesied about his coming. But they died before he came. And he went there. And the prophet said, the, prof, the prophet must have said, this place has become very exciting. What is this? And, and, and Jesus told them, it's because I have come in. Who are you? Who are you? He must have told him, I am the one who prophesied and you died before I came. He said, what were you? What did you do up there? I did what you prophesied I would do. Isaiah. 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 Did you say he was wounded for our transgressions? He was, he was bruised for our iniquities. And by his stripes we are healed. I am the one. Isaiah. I have come. And they have done all you prophesy. They have done all you prophesy. Hallelujah. 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 And other prophets he told them that. Wherever a prophet prophesied for him and he died before he came, he told them. And then he said, then he said three days from today. Get ready to evacuate. Tunatoka hapa. What? Hey, umesema nini? Nobody ever came here and left. Wewe, unajua kwamba kuna mtu ambaye alishaikuja hapa na akatoka? We are all here. Sisi wote ambao tulishaingia hapa tuko hapa. You came before I came. Ndio, naona kwamba mlikuja kabla ninje. Get ready. Hey. Tutarisheni. The devil, had, the devil had the key. <laughs> Whenever he locks people inside there, they will not come out. And he locked Jesus in there. The, then, then you read. And the, the the darkness fought. But, but the, like, light, the light prevailed. The more the darkness worked, the greater the light became. One prophet must have said, I'm excited. Hey, tu, I, I've, never been, I've never been happy like this. Yes, because these newcomers told them, I told you, the Messiah is here. We are walking out. That's why you feel resurrection power. What? Is that why I'm very happy like this? Aya. Then the third day, <laughs> the light shone in the darkness <laughs> and became stronger and stronger and stronger. And the devil, the devil was holding the key. But the light became stronger. That light weakened the devil. 
ile nuru ikamfanya tu shetani kufilisika tu Jesus took the key from the enemy Yesu akachukua ule ufunguo kutoka kwa shetani He didn't fight Yesu hakupigana He didn't fight Yesu hakupigana He just took the key Alichukua ufunguo and opened the door Akafungua ule mlango and said Jeremiah Akasema Jeremiah out Nikutoka tunatoka out Isaiah nikutoka out Zedekiah out Zedekiah tunatoka sasa out Hallelujah Haven't you read Wewe wala haujapata kusoma that in Jerusalem Kule katika mji wa Yerusalem the graves of righteous men zile kaburi za wale watu ambao walikuwa wenye haki opened up zilifunguka and the owners came out na wenyewe wakaonekana wakatokea and they were seen walking in the streets of Jerusalem na wakaonekana wakitembea katika mji wa Yerusalem it is Jesus who did all that ni Yesu alifanya yote hayo hallelujah hallelujah yes. hallelujah yes And today na leo in the name of Jesus katika jina la Yesu every grave kila kaburi in the name of Jesus katika jina la Yesu every power that binds kila nguvu ambayo imekushika I command na yamuru sasa get out now toka nje sasa go free now wewe kuwa huru sasa in the name of Jesus katika jina la Yesu go free now kuwa huru sasa hatred ile kuchuki fear hofu tribalism ukabila social distinction ile kuchiona in the name of jesus katika jina la yesu in the name of jesus katika jina la yesu i defeat you nimekushinda in jesus name katika jina la yesu out nje in jesus name katika jina la yesu out nje out nje sasa yes lord You power of fear. Wewe nguvu ya hofu. Out. Nje sasa. Power of hopelessness. Wewe nguvu ya kosa tumaini. Out. Nje. In Jesus name. Katika jina la Yesu. I am walking out. I am walking out. I am walking out. I am walking out. I am walking out.